Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TEUM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. First level to start off with from the support side of things is just simply where the, the bulls flex their muscles a couple times throughout the course of the day. And that's right down there at essentially $1.80. If you go through the history of the day, you can see during the first 30 minutes, price got down there and the bulls uh, you know, bounced the price off very nicely. And then once again, late afternoon, the price got down around that area. And then once more, the price bounced the level or bounced the price off that area very nicely. So it's very clear that $1.80 is an area of support and there's a lot of buyers hanging around down there, which also makes it from a trading perspective pretty interesting. Because yeah, after the final 30 minutes right here, a bunch of sellers showed up. But the key with that is now the price is definitely getting within striking distance of potentially going back to $1.80. Now, don't get me wrong. Just because it's bounced off there a couple times before does not mean that it's absolutely guaranteed to happen again, if only trading were that easy. But is it at least logical, is it, is it at least a rational thought to have that the price could bounce off of that area? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people are gonna be watching that $1.80 mark. So let's see if the price can indeed stay up above it or, oh wow. So that makes that much more sense right there. Just saw that. So it's bounced off that level a whole bunch of times. So $1.80, definitely very, very important level. In the event $1.80 is not able to hold up as support, the next key level of uh, support to keep an eye on after that would be down there at $1.77. So $1.80, $1.77, two key levels of support going into Friday. And then as far as levels of resistance, what I'm curious about, I wanna get this uh, tread line in place here because this is very clearly kind of being a little stubborn area as far as the chart is concerned. So I'll change that red for resistance, but keep an eye on that in the very near term as far as levels of resistance are concerned. If the price can push through that trend line, then you'll wanna keep an eye up eye at the purple line there, the 50 period moving average, currently valued at 206. So those are gonna be the, the important levels of resistance going, not necessarily just in a Friday, but next week also. But all in all, uh, keep an eye on these overall levels and let's see how this one closes out the week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.